Hello everyone, my name is Melanie, and I have been Jessica's older sister all her life, so I am <laughs> very happy to have the opportunity to brag to you about my little sister. And at Maid of Honor, I have the opportunity to disclose any stories I see fit. <laughs> I'll go easy on you, don't worry. So at first, I want to thank you all for coming and helping celebrate Jess and Josh. I've been so excited for this day, and I can't believe it's finally here. I can't believe my baby sister is getting married. I can remember you so well as a little girl. And it's your wedding day. How did this even happen? When my mom was pregnant with you, I was apparently so excited and a little psychic, or so she hoped. I kept saying, it's going to be a girl, and if it's a boy, I'm sending it back. <laughs> and, yeah, I did, right? <laughs> and to our delight, we got our little girl, and sisters were born. I feel so lucky to have a sister, and there's nothing like that bond. And as many of you know, Jessica is a loving, caring, thoughtful person, and she always thinks of others above herself. She's always been this way, even as a little girl. Jessica is always there for me to help me out when I need her, especially with my two children. She is one of my very few trusted babysitters. I know I can always count on her, and her niece and nephew love their TT. Josh has also proven to be a very popular uncle. <laughs> Blake and Ava love him. Blake always wants to FaceTime with Josh, and he even has a pair of khaki pants he calls his Josh pants. <laughs> so I mentioned Jessica was a loving, caring person, and this also goes for animals. She sure does love her dogs and all living things for that matter. Not really sure where she got that growing up in this family. <laughs> um, she wanted a pet so badly when we were kids. Thankfully, my mom wouldn't let her because of my allergies. <laughs> but one day she didn't resist and she came home with a bunny. It was no dog, but it would do for the time being. But one day, this thing got out of its cage. And it got loose, okay, picture this, in our finished carpeted basement, okay? Now, was it just me who didn't know how much bunnies poop? Like, oh my goodness, it's disgusting. They poop more than newborn babies and potty training toddlers. Like, I had no idea. <laughs> anyway, this thing gets loose, and guess who's not home? Jessica. <laughs> so my mom and I are running around trying to catch this thing, and after what felt like 24 hours, we finally got it in this designated area where it could poop until Jessica got home to deal with it. This, of course, didn't even phase her because then a week later, she came home with another bunny. <laughs> so Josh, if you're at all squeamish about changing dirty diapers, Jessica's got it covered. She's very, you know, <laughs> comfortable with poop. <laughs> Now, as the old married sister, I'm supposed to offer up some advice, but you guys don't really need it. You both fit so well together and have been together for so long, you really know each other inside and out. This is so important in a marriage, especially through the hard times. Remember the people you are and why you love each other. You complement each other on so many levels, you make a great team, and you always have a lot of fun together. These qualities will make us forever. We are all very happy to welcome Josh into our family, even though he's been a part of our family for so long. But I guess this day makes it official. So you're stuck with us now, Josh. So please raise a glass, even though I don't have one all of a sudden, to toast my little sister, the new Mrs. Katipis. Did I get it? Yes. I promised myself I'd learn how to say it by today, so hopefully I nailed it. So congrats to you, I love you guys. One more round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. And finally, I would like to call up Steph. <laughs> 